Well, Congressman, thank you so much for doing this. President Trump on Monday seemed to roll back the idea of declaring a national emergency to build a border wall on our southern border. Do you think that that was the right call? Well, I, I questioned whether he had the authority to do it, and I'm glad that he decided not to do that. I, th I think that Congress should appropriate the money, and I think that uh, there is a battle going on now over whether uh, we should appropriate. Frankly, I think the Democrats are wrong on this issue, um, and uh, the the idea that the president needs to declare a national emergency um, because there is a crisis on the border, uh, it, it isn't a time-sensitive crisis. And so um, I think the president made the right move. On Friday, some federal workers missed their first paychecks, but that didn't stop some of your Democratic colleagues from flocking to the beaches of Puerto Rico. Well, what do you think about their fun in the sun? Well, they didn't invite me, so I wasn't very <laughs> happy about that. But I, I, I think that uh, they're... It, it, there has to, you have to have, you have to be sensitive to the fact that uh, the, there are a lot of families uh, of federal employees who are hurting right now, and it's unfortunate they are uh, unintended victims of a battle that's going on over immigration and border security, and it's it's something that we need to be sensitive to as as members of Congress. And so I, I didn't think that was appropriate. Uh, I didn't think it was really sensitive uh, to to those needs. Um, the Democrats talk a really good game uh, about how they care about those, these workers. Uh, they don't seem to demonstrate that very well. What do you think would have happened if you or maybe some of your Republican colleagues had done the exact same thing? How do you think the media would have covered that? Well, I, I think that, uh, and especially uh, how the media is covering President Trump now and, and taking every shot they can at him and putting people on uh, consistently about how they are suffering as a result of this, uh, this shutdown. Um, I, I think the media definitely would have uh, taken uh, to task any Republicans that tried to, uh, to um, vacation in the sun uh, at a time that we have a snow day in D.C. and uh, federal workers aren't getting paid. What do you make of politicians in this town who are not only against building a border wall for our nation's security, but pretty much seem openly against the idea of protecting our nation's sovereignty? Yeah, and, and I don't get that. It's really an interesting question. I, I, I think that uh, we have a heroin epidemic right now in this country. We have uh, thousands and thousands of overdoses uh, that are occurring. In, in my home state of Colorado, you can see the, the effects of, of the, it's just devastating. That heroin isn't grown in the U.S. It's grown um, uh, in, in areas south of the U.S. or overseas, and it comes into the U.S. in, in a lot of different ways. Uh, this isn't just a matter of immigration. This is uh, really an issue that has to do with immigration and, and uh, narcotics and uh, terrorists. Uh, it's, it's absolutely essential that we, we uh, find a way to shut down that border and only let people into this country that, that we want in and only let things into this country that we want. So I, I think the Democrats, uh, this, this idea of having an open border when we are a very generous society, we have uh, problems in, in my home state uh, in the areas of education and, and health care and, and criminal justice as a result of too many people that don't uh, accept our culture, don't speak our language, uh, don't share our values in our country. And, and it's, a, it's a big problem and I think that the Democrats, uh, while they may gain politically uh, marginally for, for what they're doing, I think in the long run they're going to pay a, a price for this. As a former prosecutor, where have you seen the impacts of illegal aliens the most? So when I was a prosecutor, uh, we had uh, uh, obviously murder cases, we had uh, DUIs, we had uh, domestic violence. Um, there are a number of areas uh, that culturally we are different than rural areas of Mexico, uh, Guatemala, and, and Honduras, El Salvador. Uh, the idea in, in, in those countries, in, in, those, in parts of those countries, that a 45-year-old man could marry a 12-year-old girl is, is just not something that uh, is unacceptable, uh, and it obviously is in this country. And so uh, even if the families agree, uh, it's against our laws, and our laws have to be respected. But there are some areas that uh, we just we have a really uh, tough time uh, uh, bringing people into our culture and getting them used to um, children in school. Mandatory education is just not something that uh, uh, folks in, in rural areas uh, south of our border uh, accept, and and it's mandatory in this country. So we saw a lot of uh, 
a lot of issues uh, uh, in, in terms of bringing people into our culture and, and trying to make them part of our culture. And, and frankly, if they're not coming into this country illegally, we should not have to uh, spend the money and the time and the effort uh, to do that. What do you say to those on the left or those in the media that call this a manufactured or a fake crisis? Yeah, I think they need to go to the border and see just, just how bad this is. And, and I, I have to tell you, uh, I lived it every day as a prosecutor and I see it when I go home uh, in Colorado. Uh, there are people uh, out of work that want work that are here legally, uh, that are citizens. Um, and they are undercut in their wages by illegal immigrants coming into the country and that's wrong. There are people in this country that are victims of crime um, by, uh, and, and they're victims because people that are in this country illegally have driven drunk or have done other things. Uh, we have a huge identity theft problem. And Amanda, it's, it's kind of funny, but uh, they don't take Ken Buck's name when they assume somebody's identity. They're ripping off the name of an Hispanic American. And I, I got calls uh, just about every day at the DA's office that someone uh, had uh, used their some a U.S. citizen's identity to get a job in, in Colorado, and this person now had to deal with the IRS and other, other areas. So identity theft is a huge problem that, that is caused by our lack of enforcement in the immigration laws.